I'm trying to convert an old fitness bike into a fitness bike control by a Raspberry Pi. In my last video I ended around here. I was waiting for this relay model, uh, but I haven't received it yet. But instead I have built my own relay output. This is my Raspberry Pi with wireless connection. I used an old hard disk driver cable and connected to this temporary print with two relays and uh, this is the original cable to the fitness bike connected to this original print <coughs> and, and this, uh, this uh, laptop here is uh, connected to the Raspberry Pi through wireless connection I have made this uh, web interface where I can start and stop my Python Python program. Now I uh, start the program, a Python program, and it starts up here in the terminal. And the motor, the magnet bar is running into position. As you can see now, uh, the program is running through all the uh, LED and LON position and controlling the uh, magnet bar so now it's uh, going downhill I speed the video up a little bit only a little bit now you can see it's going uphill and the magnet bar is going very close to the flying wheel the reason I made a web interface is because you can use it in any device and make your own little cycle computer. So here I have my cycle web computer. Um, let's talk about these uh, numbers here. Uh, I have a distance, elevation and elevation in percent, the cadence, the motor position and the speed. The elevation and the elevation in percent I get from my GPS tracks file, so that is very easy. And uh, the cadence is measured directly, so that is also very easy. So to get the speed, I know from my old fitness bike that a cadence at 100, I ride 33 kilometers per hour. So, how to get uh, how long the bike moves at one pedal turn? I just went into this uh, side here and get the speed at cadence. So I took uh, I know at 100, I ride 33. I got this here. So now I have the the gear. And this is uh, not important, uh, I just need uh, an example of the gear. So I run, went to uh, meters here and find the gear again, third, uh, 15 and uh, 19. And now I know that the bike moves 5.5 meters at every uh, pedal turn. And I just put it in here to my Python program in kilometers, kilometers. and uh, so now I can calculate how long the bike. Uh, so now I know how long the bike moves at every cadence turn. Um, the elevation in percent here is really uh, hard to calculate because how close should the magnet bar be to the flying wheel at 1% or at 5% well this is not easy to calculate and um, I found this page here that has a lot of calculation and uh, maybe you get a will be a little wiser looking at all these numbers and maybe you can um, make your fitness bike uh, be more like real life 
I don't know, but uh, I think it's very really, uh, difficult to uh, to make it so real as possible. I have some uh, troubles uh, making my web page and the Python program uh, communicate together. Uh, I would like to uh, start the Python program by pressing start here, but it uh, I couldn't make it work uh, properly because the Python program didn't get permissions to create a file. Uh, the way I do this is uh, now is that um, yeah, I take the web page first. Now this is the style of the web page, and um, this area drive here. Um, loads, reloads the, the, this file here every second seconds uh, this, and this is uh, all this I create the, all this uh, in the, the Python program and this is uh, and this is the data and, and I save this every second seconds <laughs> Um, so I just write the distance and elevation and so on and uh, it works uh, very fine um, here when I press start I first I start the Python program so it runs in the background and uh, when I can and then I can uh, press uh, start here and the web page write a file here I call data and I just write the text start or stop or pause and the Python program reads the same file and looks for starts or stop um, I have made a simple Python program here so you can see how it works so um, here it's read the data file and looks for stop or start. If its text is start, it uh, will just put some numbers into uh, this file here. So you can see now I start the program and um, it reads the data file and the data file as a text, uh, the text stop, so nothing happens. So I press start here, and now it restarts, and the and then it's uh, creating this file here with different numbers every time. But uh, I would like a a better way to make this program communicate together. So maybe you have a a good idea how to do that so please uh, leave a comment if you uh, know a better way to make the web page or the, and the python program uh, communicate uh, together this is maybe my uh, last video of this uh, Raspberry Pi bicycle project maybe I make a little shorter uh, video of all four I, I haven't decided yet but uh, until next time see you